camp or take it for himself. Um, one or the other for either the Tinker or the Bat Rider or him. So Oh, no tail, got it. He doesn't have time walk though. He's gonna die. Can he deny himself oh, the Roshan this. in time? Oh. One right click, it's not there. Era gets it with the Blade Fury and right clicks. He did get the rune, but he gives his life away. He time walked to get it too. We have, like we said, the jungling bloodseeker. We'll see if they rotate the ogre out early on here with the Zapzer just going to work on fly right now, but um, he's so far just harassing this bottom lane. He has a wind lace. He's got some nice movement speed, but S4 solos Kezu in the top lane. S4 looks like he did have six. He did use his... Him being up here in Jerax. Um, mid's pretty fine for Koika just because Tinker obviously dominates the lane a lot of the time through laser. And with two heroes, at least you aren't getting fully blinded or anything. They have, have a chance for no tail. Let's try to TP out. Glimpse probably will be used in will. No tail doesn't have mana to use his time walk. He's further into the tree line, and they have no way of getting him. No tail's just going to be fine. Maybe time. they can just eat their way through. They have Quelling Blade. They have another Tango era. One second away from finding no tail. He has no usage of that time walk. Blade Fury. He buys two TPs before dying, the best that he possibly can do in that situation, and they will find the kill. They're actually level five. Pretty sure a 1v1. Yeah, that's. And S4, in the hands of S4 as well, it's... And by the way, he went Arcanes. Oh, mid lane, there's going to be gank here. The tanker is going to get the laser off, but it's not going to help. He will drop the march down, try to do some extra damage to Yapsor and Koika, but they'll be fine. Yapsor's a little low. He has a haste rune, might want to go back home. Uh, but other than that, look at Koikva's positioning mid. He knows something is up right now. He's sitting close to the right side of the tower. Will it matter, though? Like there's going to be the rupture, and now it's going to be troubled. And there's going to be a dive. Is there any TP rotations? Mass TP rotations, in fact. They still get the kill. The laser comes out. They had that silence come through from Jerax as well. Air coming in. He's got Omni Slash, but the magic missile gets... Two of them could uh, do a nice little duo running around the map. Air sneaking up with the Omni Slash and mid there on the Ana. I'm gonna go for it. Plenty of damage. The laser will come through. Is it enough? He's so low. The ignite will take him down in the end. Arrow will take some tower damage. No TP reactions from OG, so they get a free kill. And Arrow will get a, get an Iron Talon. His net worth is is lower than that of Yapsor at this point, which is the four position support for Escape Gaming. So Kezu has a long time before he's back into this game trend. Cool. Yeah, uh, gonna be looking for those uh, turnaround plays. The signature style of Escape. Another rupture mid on Koikva. He is and running. He's to, oh, man, he is running. Tough. He's probably still dead that he's seeking missiles. He was trying to get out of the silence. He had to keep running with the rupture on. Maybe the worst thing he could have done, but he couldn't really have done anything else. Look at this. Just immediately coming bottom with the chrono, too. The positioning of Jax in the trees. Uh oh, though. Yapsor and Air will find S4. He does have that blink already, but it's not on him. And the Blade Fury, along with the Ignite and the Fire Blast, more than enough to get a kill. And Air just goes right into the camp as well. Give me that extra farm. Kester down bottom. Ruptured. Oh, Ruptured. Oh, why don't I just chrono you? oh, the Chrono Sphere comes out just in time. Shannon, it didn't work. The TPs didn't work, my friend. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> That's all he's got. Did Pretty high telling it out of there. Arrows on the hunt as well as Kezu. They have that Ravage. It looks like OG do not want to turn and fight. Despite this being a 5 versus 4, Glimpse back. They'll find the Tinker. That's trouble. There's going to be the Omni Slash. No rupture used just yet. Jump in the last of They'll bring up Yapsor onto the high ground here with the Firefly. This should be a kill. No stick charges there. He'll be down for 30 seconds. No tail teeping out already. S4's got Blink in three seconds. Era still on the hunt pretty fast with FaZe and Yasha. Trying to go top. They will finish off the tier 2 tower bottom instead. But now there might be a fight. Kezu's found Fly. He has Swap. He might need to use it on one of his teammates to get out of trouble. In fact, he will just die here, it looks like. Give his life away. And the rest of the squad will back up and away. Except for S4 was looking to come and provide support. But it's not there. And Kezu... There's options for him to move into after the Ogre Club. So they have I think it's Chrono time. Like, let's let's kill somebody. They let's haven't go. They have used one yet. Oh, they used one to get the kill on the Tidehunter, but that's it. Yeah, there we go. This is it. Koikva, and there's going to be the Chrono coming out. The, the bear's going to keep just chewing on some of these creeps. He's going to use his Savage Roar to try to get out Fly. They might not be able to get this kill. Finally, with S4 coming in the Flame Break, they will. Rotating in his Yap Sword, they'll have to back away. Now they get the Ignite off. Kezu's going to Blink Ravage. He's going to hit nope. four, and he gets the creep that they're teeping into as well. Is it enough? There's the Heat Seeking Missiles as well. They glimpse back the Tinker. He's got a refresh and get in as quickly as possible. No tail still shadow bladed up. S4 blinks away. They have magic missile. They swap back. They, swap, they get it, it stunned as well. And air is gonna fall almost instantly. He didn't get his blade fear up. The Absol will fall next as well and Jack Jax gets a double kill. They get the TP away in time from that disruptor. He will survive but Air doesn't get the blade fury off and he ends up dying quickly. They can't rupture. Uh, or rather they can't ravage without that stack storm in place I don't think. Like it's so hard to win a fight like that. Especially when your lone druid just went down right to start. Did he... He See, he's missing a lot of gold. OG's vision has been pretty solid so far this game. Yeah, it really has actually. And again, Jerax down bottom, rupture onto Kezu. Ooh, swap back. That almost kills him. That's pretty much <laughs> enough to kill him, essentially. They'll TP so out gross. fly. 
That's that's not very fun. It's a nice little combination that you don't expect to see because you never. That's see only uh, level one swap too, guys. Oh, a got a little bit of range to grow. Oh god, at least the raindrop blocks the uh, time lock, but that doesn't really nice. matter. Yeah. He's dead anyways. I mean, there's really not much you can do. There's gonna oh, be the root coming up. The entangling roots is caught. Rabbit? They're doing some nice damage. The radiance burn going as well. Actually might be able to bring him down. No tails, another time walk, and they didn't get the Savage Roar off in time. It was about to go. Now they're gonna jump in bottom. They find Era, lassoed up, and Jerax will get this kill. Manta style. Omni Slash will go. They should still be able to bring him down after the Omni Slash is done. In fact, they will. Dead for 48, no buyback. They are just picking off heroes all over the map. They're dying mid, they're dying bottom, they're dying everywhere. Participatory season of Dream League. Uh, they, they've got some potential here with this lineup. We'll see. They did scan, by the way. They, no tails they coming all in. all the heroes with the scan. No tail coming in. Chrono onto two, including the Juggernaut. He's in trouble. Savage War BKB is up. The bear is inside. The Chrono arrow will pop the Omni Slash, but immediately gets canceled after the time wall comes through. The Lasso. Nobody's actually dead except for the Disruptor here. Flame Break's going to push him back. There's the Rupture, though, and they're going in. Kezu, one right click away, or Heat Seeking Missile will get mecked up. Good Ravage to keep him alive. They might actually lose the Tinker, and will. Kezu's low. Finally, they bring him down. It's a double kill for Jerax, but it's a two for two exchange so far. The Root will come out. They might get a third. Aaron's going to come back in. No tail. Fire Blast it up. He's got Time Walk. Koifu will find that third kill. It's his double. Aaron coming back in. They see No Tail. They've got Dust up. They will bring him down with a Root, and Koifu finds himself a triple kill. And just like that, maybe even an overextension from OG gives Escape so much gold. They have dusks. That's the, that's the only. They have a sentry on the hill. It's it, none down here. It's falling low. Ignite will come through and hit just about everybody. Oh, this is so scary. With those They're going to jump in and do a chrono here. It looks like No Tail will pop it off and gets it onto everybody. He gets the Aegis and he snatches it as well. They get the Blood Rage down. They're trying to go to the work. They get the Omni Slash, but that's just the Aegis. Will they fight this for S4? Looking maybe for a last of the oh, Static Storm up. They've caught No Tail. Swap out. Fly will save him. Give his life away. Now Blink and Ravage. They want to try to fight this escape, doing their best. The lasso, they'll pick up the Juggernaut. He's falling low. He'll fall to the Rupture on top of that Firefly as well. Looks like a two for one on the other side is... Tinker comes in and blows away that Disruptor. Root will come out. They'll find the Bat Rider. Everybody's so low. Yapsor gets Glimmer Cape. They don't have detection. They will dig at him. They get a double kill for Jerax, who gets an unstoppable spree on top of it. The Tinker has bought his Aghanim Scepter. No Tail. He's going to be able to escape with another Time Walk, and it looks like that will be it. And if No Tail doesn't get that Aegis, that fight goes drastically different. Yeah, it saves the gem there, too. So nicely done there from the side of OG, but... The help, of course, from Escape. Smoke will come out, and it looks like they're going to attempt to try to fight here. S4, he has Lasso. He could go for Era. Not going to attempt it. Now he will. Blink, Lasso, Force back. Era's low already. The Rupture's on him, and he's dead. Chrono will hit onto two. Tide will fall. Gem already on the deck. They're going to get a third as well. Yapsor, that Glimmer Cape will not save your life. The barrier, he's even not safe at this point. Savage War, he does get out in time somehow. And with three dead, another perfect initiation from S4 and the rest of OG. <laughs> Blood Rage, dig on fire. Air has spoken. They're going to smoke up, though, an immediate blink reaction. No Tails, like, can I get off get no uh, my gems, Chronosphere right? or anything here? It's on cooldown, so that's an obvious no. They do glimpse back S4. It's a pretty nice kill. Mega kill no spree. Tail? No Tail in, jumps dude. in. Omni Slash. He's just what? dead. He gets rooted. Uh, he Is wanted he the dead? gem, clearly. Uh, that's, that's not great. Currently, they don't have a scan to work with, well, the Radiant do at the very least, but... Someone eventually does have to come back for this. Are they going to jump on No-Tail? Blink Ravage? What do they have? They still have the There it is. They're going to find it on No-Tail. He's going to fall. Swap out. One more right click. The Thunder Strike. He gets off the Time Walk. He's still alive somehow. They get the Lasso. Kezu will fall first. Glimpse not in time. The Bear will come out. They want Fly and No-Tail. They'll at least get Fly, but the Bear does fall. Koikpa, he has a recreation. He's going to go ahead and just TP home, though. That was so close. What a save from Fly. Wow. Nicely played. I don't even know. They, they really have to find a lasso, I think, for S4, or at least no tails to come well, with the It's only 15 seconds till Ravage is up, so they, they need to make stuff happen. They want They'll to, find they a lasso. It's going to be in the Spirit Bear. Again, if they do kill this, they will have a resummon ready to go. It's not dying just yet. It will go down to the March of the Machines and the Rupture, which JRX will pick up the 300 gold. Okay. But like you said, Ravage is back up, ready to go. That was Rupture, too, right? Yep. Yeah, so that's one charge down. He's got one Question left. is, how much do they commit for the second bear? Jerax blows thing? away. He absolutely oh, not dead in. yet. One more right click, not in time. Meanwhile, they only get the bear and the lone druid inside that chronosphere still. It might be enough. They get the laser, which will blow away the disruptor. Again, not able to use that static storm. Omni slash is now done. Era pops the BKB. The Tinker denies himself. He's back up at 30. Fear is going to come out with a savage roar. Oh, that's Jerax gets another kill. Era will finally fall. 
too much damage to deal with the bear. Can they take it down a, a second? Good right click. Oh, maybe not. Taking a lot of tower damage as well. Like, that was significant. Laser will come through, somehow. blink in, another lasso. Uh, the disruptor against Cinderin is just like, please, God, help me. Then Jerex blows away a couple. He will finally die, oh, dead it, for 86 seconds. But <laughs> Boykva, oh my God, that damage was absurd. I can't believe the, that just happened. The timing happened. on the Aegis, though. Jerex just dies. That's unfortunate. Nicely done. Man, Escape have done that a couple games where they wait for that perfect moment. And Jerex didn't die in time. Oh, he was so close. I don't think I've seen a Static Storm in like 20 minutes from Disruptor, from Sind. It just hasn't I had to happened. Check. It was uh, 1.5 seconds after he lost the Aegis, he died. That's, wow, that's... A, oh, oh that no, Era's going to get caught with a Chronosphere. This is going to be more than enough damage. He does have buyback still, but it's another death going the way of the Blood Sea, or the Juggernaut, excuse me. They know quick for hoping that they're going to go for it, but instead it's Tinker up top, Faces Void in the mid. They are relatively unaware. Of course, they did just use that scan, as you said, so they can't be too certain. And they might get S4. Oh, oh he blink. misses the Ravage. What a blink coming Ooh. out from S4. He still has his uh, lasso ready to go. He'll pop his BKB. And the Static Storm was in the BKB S4 Batrider. Yes, they will take down Fly. It looks like OG are going to try to fight this. The lasso was up and ready to go. The gem is now down. There's the Chronosphere onto a couple. They have that blinding light coming through. Excuse me. The laser doing some serious work. There's the Dagon coming out. Kezu getting crushed as well. Another laser doing some serious damage. Koifa as well as Sin barely surviving. Air is back up trying to man fight here against this Bloodseeker. And he will win the man fight. Now No Tail, one of the few survivors coming out. They will take down Kezu. It's a three for three trade. Era's BKB is still there. Finally will go off. Will blink away. He's got the Blade Fury here. Can they bring this man down? The Tinker's looking for another laser. The TP out. He cancels it. He wants to bring down this Tinker he's going and kill for it. Quick fun. He's going to be able to get this the done. The dash comes out. He's so low. They both go down. The march of the machine kills one. Koikfa kills the other with the bear. It's a beyond godlike spree that the Tinker actually secures. 49 minutes in, you do have the, the Roshan back up, but it looks like OG are just trying to take over map control and escape continue to lose any semblance of that as we progress further into the game. 49 minutes in, they find the Chrono on to two. No tail getting TP'd on. That's the Tinker coming in. There's the Dagon, the lasers. They'll take down Cinder again before he can get anything off. Air will come in. They might lose the Tinker. He does use that Bloodstone Suicide. No tail getting hit up. Gets stunned as well. He's got his... Silver Edge back up in one second. So might be able to still get out here. Tezu Ravage will go. The Silver Edge gets off. They have vision. They have detection. <laughs> might be a little too aggressive from No-Tail now. And with two dead, Air is going to jump further aggressively onto Fly. Swap out. No, he might just go down and be the Martyr. Air decides not to chase, actually, it looks like. I think he might have been oh, ruptured. Fly, back he was. Swap back. He swapped himself with the rupture on him as the Lotus Orb was there. He didn't move. Air literally didn't move after that swap hit him. Oh, my. I wonder if Fly was thinking it would double it, and that's why he went back that's, in for That's it. what I thought would happen, but it didn't, so... That was such a risky play that seems so unnecessary from the dire. If they lose Roche now, like... Why, why are they chronoing here for two... So I mean, I understand what they're thinking, but they can like, blow them up without even having buyback on the Tinker, so like... Koifla is getting last out, and the Tinker is back up. This is why they're doing it. They're gonna bring down Koifla for, for 99 seconds. He doesn't have a resummon for 40, either. If they want to contest Roche, they're going to probably have to buy back. Walking in, pops the BKB, trying to go to work. Kinetic Field, keeping him up, safe. Blood Rage will go BKB as well. That's BKB from No Tail, Yeah, too, that's though. gone. He's going to get blink glimpsed back as well. They have the Static Storm. No Tail's in trouble. Can he pop the cheeses to swap back in time? Fly might give his life away, but still, they will get the Tier 3 Tower. It's, uh, and they have the Refresher Orb for Kezu now as well. Era Omni Slash. They pop the Chronosphere, but that only might bring the Tinker down. Ravage on just about everyone except for S4, who gets off the BKB in time. They've lost Ana. He'll buy back and try to get back into the fray as quickly as possible. Meanwhile, Bloodseeker getting stunned up. The bear going to work. Heat seeking missiles. They'll bring the bear down. They've already lost Kezu. Yaps will be next. And so too will Cinder and Koikla getting chased down. Another laser. Heat seeking missiles. All five of them are dead in the dirt. Coming through. Ana with that buyback. Jerax with the blood rage with that freaking dig in five, and they will take racks. That's how they breach high ground, friend. Yeah, that uh, first potential. Oh, Jerax doesn't have it. He does, however, have Aegis ready to go. Root coming out. The Tinker. The Savage Roar. Jerax still low. Falling prey to... Oh, they actually get the glimpse back into the Static Storm. He's dead for 80 seconds. That's something. Now, Era jumping in. BKB pops. No Tail wants this melee racks. He will find it. He will not get the range. He'll put some permanent damage there, but he won't be able to oh, finish it off. In. He's trying to get it as best as possible. That bear just eats him alive. And it looks like it. Jax will TP away in time. Era did it, dude. Four ruptures out already. It's onto the bear. Taking a little bit of damage. Not much. 
They should have a resummon here pretty soon. 30 seconds. Now bear doesn't have to move when it's four building. Four staff. Now S4 looking for the lasso. Swap back. Actually, it still should do the job. The bear will inevitably fall, but not before it gets this mid racks. Uh, someone, someone sent her to do it. Hit it. Oh, come on now. They had to back. Here we go, though. Drax looking for Koikva. He just fought back. There's the Static Storm Ravage. Isn't this going to be it? The Omni Slash on top of it as well. Drax will fall next. They've already lost the ticker. Luckily, that is just the Aegis for that Bloodseeker. This still might be pretty good for escape. Still no Tinker. The glimpse back onto Jerax. They might be able to bring him down. Kezu's got Refresher at 12. The Chronosphere, though, saves his life. No Tail comes in right clicking down air as best as he possibly can. BKB will go. He's broken at this point in time. Barely surviving. No Healing Ward. Gapster is going to be the lamb that's going to be for the slaughter. The Refresher only hits onto the No Tail face this void, but can they bring him down? Air wants to man fight this. He gets stunned yeah, up and Air so is gone. Both him and Koikma will fall for 89 seconds. That almost has to be it as Kezu as well as Yapto will get cleaned up. All five will fall. Such a good try from this game at the end of this game. They almost evened it up. It looks so good there, Trent, but not enough at 56 minutes. That laboratory lasts onto a creep. That's how you win with style. Damn. OG Dota.